Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box with the Technical Trader at TechTrader.com. It is Wednesday, November the 1st. These are the charts of the day. A good day on Wall Street finishes uh, at the high for the day, going away after the FOMC failed to raise interest rates and Powell kind of uh, talked, I think, fairly dovish. Well, wasn't too hawkish, and that's what Wall Street liked. Um, a lot of stocks ran today, and today was, a, I think, an important day for the market. Take a look at AMD popping nearly $10 or 10%, <clears throat> and it traded 142 and a half million shares. A big day, the biggest volume we've seen on an update in almost a year. Really, really big day. And you can see the, re the reversal closed above three moving averages in one day. Now, all it needs to do is take out the triple top here, right around 111 and a half, and this thing's on its way to 118.20. Biohaven, really nice chart of the last the year since October. And today, an engulfing reversal day now puts it at a target near 33. <clears throat> CLLS with a monster day, 93 million shares. Never heard of that before in the stock ever. And it exploded on a deal from 114 to almost three. After hours, finished 266 up 169. That's 175%. And again, 93 million shares. Usually, a thrust like that is in one day. We'll see if there's a follow through. If so, next resistance is four. FDDR. Um, big explosive breakaway gap above three moving averages as well. And it kept going until it reached 36, 34 before backing off. Still, it finished it up 488 or 17% at 3381. And maybe some more upside coming. The next target, way up there at 39. IDYA also popped out of resistance. And you can see it's basically a it's five week consolidation. It popped through key resistance at 2790. It finished at 2885. That was up 168 or less. 6%, 900,000 traded or near it. There's some resistance at this double top at 30 and a quarter and a half. And then the target's 33. LIAN, look at this pop. Major breakaway gap, spike up, and rising flag. Doesn't get much more bullish than that. Where can it go? Five and a half and six would be the near term target. LPG, in the oil and gas group, this has been one hell of a chart over the last year. Since September of last year, when it was 12, now reaching 35 and nearly tripling. Today, importantly, spiked and blew out out of an ascending bull coil or wedge, and it, it certainly closed at the high for the day, going away up 10.5%. Could be some more to come, high 30s. NR, another oil and gas equipment and services company, broke out of a coil, popped and backed off, but it was still up about 5% today. Target, eight and a quarter. OLMA and the biotech group, and consolidating for two months today, it popped and popped big time. 17, uh, 13 to 1732, backed off to 1590, was still up 261 or 20%. Next target is 20. PSN also popped out of a three, four month consolidation zone with a breakaway gap. Your target now is 65. This one was up almost 10% today. Big day for Roku after hours has exploded from literally from 59 to 71 and a half. And backed off to 70, 80, but held most of the gains. The huge day closing right at the declining 50, but above the 10 and 21 day moving averages in the declining top signs as well. Two of them. Um, looks to me like it'll test 75, 6 short term. Sava, a little bit of a fall of thrift and a breakout. Now you see the big spike it had for three days, and then it sat back to the field for a couple, three. It broke out today, or, and it closed very well. There was some resistance to 22 and a half. We get through that, you're looking at 25.6. SPR popped out of a coil yesterday and followed through today, so I put a swing on it. Lots of room to run, perhaps to 27, 29, 31, 2. TGTX exploded as well. Broke through three moving averages, faded 55 million shares, and jumped 251, 32%. There's a gap, a big one up here, but should it get anywhere halfway into the gap, I believe this might be a $16 stock. And finally, UUU in the uh, security protection group broke out of a coil a week ago and just kept running. The stock has gone from 220 to 490 in a couple of weeks. It's that key secondary resistance here. And should it get through that, I would look for eight. It could be a good one. Keep an eye on it. And for now, that's it. Good night, everybody. This is HP signing off.